Hi, Pastor Anthony Edward, your hashtag Better Together devotion for today. This week, I'm focusing on wisdom, the Psalms of wisdom that we have within the book of Psalms. And I'm pointing out some of the places where God's word has guided us and led us to a place where we can learn more about how to have a happy life, how to have an abundant life, a successful life. Psalm 14 is probably one of the harshest psalms because you don't get to the good news until all the way at the end, verse 7. Here's what Psalm 14 says. Fools say in their heart, there is no God. I had a a, a psalm professor once talk to me about the fact that this is the word for atheist in in the Hebrew. Fools. Fools say in their heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. There is no one who does good. Notice that it's including all of us. The Lord looks down from heaven on humankind to see if there are any who are wise who seek after God, but they have all gone astray. They are all alike perverse. There is no one who does good. No, not one. Have they no knowledge? All the evildoers who eat up my people, who eat their bread, who do not call upon the Lord, they are in great terror, for the Lord is with the company of the righteous. You would confound the plans of the poor. But, here's the turning point in the psalm. But the Lord is their refuge. God is our place of safety. Oh, that deliverance for us, for Israel, would come from Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice, Israel will be glad. This is a psalm that encourages us to have faith in God and belief in God, even in the midst of terror and troubles, to trust that God will deliver us through the bad things. Now, notice it doesn't say anything about where bad things happen or or where bad things come from. It kind of leaves that one up in the air. But instead, it just says, trust in God for refuge. Trust in God for deliverance. And there's some, some unique places of reference here. It ends with this idea of Jacob will rejoice. Israel will be glad. Well, there's a funny thing about Jacob and Israel in the scripture stories. Remember that Jacob's name literally translates as liar, as one who has done foolish things, as one who who stole his brother's birthright by pretending to be him, who, who tricked and connived his way through life so often. Israel. Israel, the nation of ten tribes to the north that rebelled against the kingdom of David, rebelled against David's grandson. You see, there's this notion that even those of us who have gone astray, even those of us who have wandered, the Old Testament offers this promise that if we follow the path of righteousness, justice, love, if we follow the path of mercy, that God will deliver us. God is our refuge, but God is our refuge. That's an incredibly great message incredibly great understanding that we are we are not holy because we've done something the worthwhile but holy instead because we trust that we pray that we ask for refuge that we ask for deliverance it's the concept of grace undeserved love from god but god offers it to us freely offers it to us to have this wisdom to have this path forward here o israel God is with us. Amen.